All right, everybody, welcome to another film of Alpha Rock Fishing. Um, I'm down here at Big Wells in Monmouthshire, Wales, and I'm fly fishing, uh, something new on the channel. But not only that, we are going to be doing a catch and cook today, a rainbow trout catch and cook. And um, so let's get to it. As you see, there's loads of fish in the water, crystal clear lake. I wanna take it on it, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright They'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights <laughs> Alright everyone, so it's currently about 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, fishing on the kill pond, the big wells in Monmouthshire. And I was lucky enough to hook into one today, so successful catch and cook. Uh, it was caught on a blood worm. We'll get a photo of that up in a minute. Um, kind gentleman was kind enough to give it to me and uh, it turned successful. So I'm going to show you my fish now and we're going to. Rover Betty, so, uh, Betty so successful enough to catch this beautiful rainbow trout, roughly about two and a half pound, uh, caught him on the blood run. Right everybody, so um, I've just gone up to the lodge and uh, the owners, Gary and Sue, have asked me if I can go and catch them another one, well one for them, for their dogs, <laughs> um, and so that's what I'm going to do, so I'm going to head up back up to the kill pond now, I had to go on the gin lake, uh, didn't have much luck after the last one, but I'm going to go back on the kill pond with the blood worm and hopefully catch another one, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Everybody, another trout on the blood worm. This one's for Gary, uh, Gary's dogs. Um, luckily for Gary, I'm gonna charge him free for this. Uh, but obviously, beautiful weather today, so we've already caught two and got one for the catch and pop. We've got this beautiful coloured rainbow. Right everybody, I'm going to call this last fish of the trip I think, uh, second one for Gary, and um, yeah, what successful session down Big Wilds in Monmouthshire, I'll leave the link to their website and Facebook page in the description, be sure to check them out, it's definitely worth a visit as you see, beautiful trout like this, and uh, love the owners Gary and Sue, uh, Gary cooks up a good breakfast, so definitely come down there for that, and we'll wait to end the session. 
Alright everybody, uh, we're out in my garden now. Um, just got back from fishing. In the end I had three fish. Um, just a quick thing. If my dogs bark in the background, just ignore them. They're a pain in the ass. Uh, but here we go. We've got our trout that we caught. Let's get him on the chopping board. Alright. I'm joining my fluffy dog Teddy today. Because she's the only good one. No, 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 you're not eating the fish. Stay. Alright, so what you first want to do is make sure you've got a sharp knife. And what you'll need to do to start with to gut this fish is to go from the digestive system part and go all the way up to the belt till we get to the pec fins. Okay, so to start this fish, all we're going to need to do is cut here. Here, all the way up to about start here, start of the thing, I'm just going to rip it out to about there. Then all we need to do is you'll notice you'll feel a lot of restriction from the head. This is the tube that connects the digestive system. You just get a bucket of water like so and then just wash them out a little bit, get all the nasty stuff out. All the little bits here and there. All right. Now you'll notice this big black substance along its thing. This is called the membrane inside the fish. So all you'll need to do is take your tip of your thumb and just push right the way up this like this this will take it all out you'll notice a lot of blood in this part uh, it'll text the south of it and then just keep on rubbing up that bone the next step to do here is we're going to take off the head uh, you'll notice with some trout you'll hit a nerve system which will cause them to shake don't worry they are not turning back alive so you want to go in line from a, with the fins here so I like to make a little cut to get it perfectly in line, just like that. Just so you know where you're cutting and then a little slice on the top, all the way down, like that. Then just take the head off. Cut straight down and then boom, got your fish head, just dispose of that in the bag. Next the tail, so we want to go from around here. So we're going to cut that. The tail is usually the part where they all flop. Oh, this guy didn't do it this time, luckily for us. And you'll get a nice slab of body meat from the fish. You'll get these two fins here. You can cut that off after it cooked, but I recommend keeping them on whilst they're being cooked. Dispose of that in the bag as well. And uh, it's your choice whether you want to scale them. I like to take a few off, because sometimes they can get a little bit stuck in your teeth. So all you need to do with this is just light strokes, like so. The way I'm going to do this, I'm going to take it off from the top part, the fattiest part, where all the meat is, and I'm going to individually pick out each bone, so we have some nice boneless um, chunks of meat. This is just to ensure that um, I get as much meat out of this fish as possible, as we do not want to get it to waste. So what I'm going to start by doing is I'm going to find the bone of where it first hits, and I'm just going to go from here, along the back end, all the way across, so I'm going to make a light stroke, like that, I'm going to go very slowly, make sure I get a nice cut, just across there, like that, that's just the start to our fillet, as you see we've got some beautiful fish meat, uh, so I'm going to do that for this side as well, just because it's a lot easier, instead of cutting it all off at once. right across that spinal cord. Uh, 
and then we come into a bit of meat there. So I'm going to just cut that right off the bat. It'll be a bit firm first because of the bones being in tap with the spine still. But then you should be able to get a really nice just cut out of that. And if you do light strokes like this, you get a nice fillet. So then we're going to do the other side. And then here we go, two beautiful fillets like that. So to individually pick out the bones, it's very simple. All you need to do is just pull them out. Sometimes it's best to use a pair of tweezers, which is a lot like easier. So what you need to do now, guys, is just pick out each bone carefully. If you want the best out of your food, you've got to take time and effort into it. So there's one bone. We're going to pick out all of them, and I'll get back to you once they're all out. Uh, it's going to take a while, so I'll see you later on. Okay, everybody. So, here we go. I'm 80% sure I've got all bones out of this uh, fillet. All right, here's the next fillet. Nice bit. As I said before, I'm going to cut it into chunks, and I'll see you in my kitchen now. Right everybody, I had a look in the pantry uh, because I didn't go to the shop and I'm just going to put in a few seasonings that I think will taste nice. So we got crushed chilli, we got Himalayan salt, paprika, garlic granules, onion granules and we need flour. So this is what we got to make our recipe and an egg. So let's do this. Okay, so with each individual piece, you want to first coat it in the egg like so. And then next, just put it straight into the flour mix. Put that all around. And then we'll go place that inside the flour. Go on now and try the fish that I made. Good. Absolutely beautiful, love. You couldn't have cooked it any better. Thank you, Nan. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> right, everybody, so here's the dish that I've made. I'm quite proud of it, actually. <laughs> um, it's a very nice dish. I'm going to taste test this now, so we're going to see what's stuck for us. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Trout, I should say. Uh, this bit's a bit more crispier. We have some lovely fish. And as you see, skin just slides straight off with the batter. And you've got this beautiful fish, just like from the chippy. That is spot on. Mmm, that is really nice. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this video um, I don't usually do captain cooks but decided to do one today so I'd like to thank you for watching and stay in tune for more because there's going to be more content like this so I'll see you in a bit